M0FXB, welcome back to my videos learning the USDR, USDX Plus, QRP, 5 watt, 8 band, transceiver and CW decoder. Please watch my video installing the GW8 Romeo Delta India firmware. The main benefit of this firmware as far as I can see is improving the TX audio by having the ability to turn off quad flipping which was causing the problem. So the process of installation, the link for that video will be in the description. If I just turn off the device, click it down, you've got a switch on the side here and then click it back up. You'll see it's very quick, but that said version four. The first thing you'll notice is, is that my call sign is there. So you can input your call sign and that can be removed. Another new implementation is if you double click the volume knob here, you can change bands in either direction. That's very handy. Another trick I'll show you is that if you press the mode button, it changes the mode. So you go in LSB, USB. But if you double click it, you can change the bandwidth and it changes each time you do it. Obviously for the appropriate mode and we're in CW at the moment. Now if you press and hold, and let go, you have receive increment tuning. Press and hold again, it will change to the B band. So if we change that band upwards or downwards, there you are. We press and hold, press and hold again. You've gone to the A band and tuning is just done very easily by turning this knob here and then you can press, move the cursor at the bottom there, move that along and you can tune in in different increments. Now the band conditions at the moment are quiet, so I can't properly show you how good the speaker sounds, but the receive audio is very good now. So when doing the firmware update, this one is called Red Corners, as you can see for obvious reasons. It's a nice sturdy aluminium case. The Red Corners have these rubber bumpers as well. Now one of the additions to the menu, if we go quickly into that, press menu, obviously volume, and we're just turning this volume knob here and cycling up. You can change the mode. There's the bandwidth again. Change the band. Tune rate. VFO mode A or B. Receive increment tuning is off at the moment. AGC. Noise reduction. Attenuation. ATT2. These are my recommended settings. S meter DBM. S meter forward, CW coder on, we'll show you that in a sec, it does work. Practice mode as well for practicing your CW, effectively turns off transmit, Vox, noise gate, TX drive and PA bias max, I've been told, you know, and you do need to test this, but if you want to get it to, I don't know, the full five watts, this is where you're going to be adjusting. IQ phase, and then they've got the ability there to turn on and off cat. So if we press that and turn it on and then exit, you'll see it now shows on screen that there's cat. But we're not using that at the moment because I've got a feeling to use cat, you might have to add a IF tap. Well, we'll try and find some CW, but it just see I've got my long wire on there. <laughs> And it's just really bad today. Last night it was busy. Actually, we need to go CW. Turn the volume up, push and then turn. Unfortunately, it's really bad, but when you select CW, it will CW decode for you. You'll see the letters coming across there. I found this one, it's a bit fast. Ah, that is actually working like CQ CQ. PA3, GEG. It works. Well, that's excellent.
And so even with a weak signal, not great conditions, we're getting very good CW decode. I'll just show you the, some of the buttons on the side, not the top. So at the top, we've got this silver button that actually acts as a PTT. I'm not going to transmit, just watch. There you are, just a creep, very brief tap. You see, it goes red and green on receive. So in a separate video, what I'm going to do is get this device because the transmit audio has been improved even when using the, the plug-in mic. I'll just show you the connectors. So your antenna, UART for cat control, mic, CW key, which we will test as well. Tune, tune there. Let's just turn it round. Built-in microphone here. PTT menu and then change, quick change mode. Nice speakers, good for the you know for the size of the unit and the price of the unit. That's always got to be taken into account what these units cost because it's um, you know it's, it's a QRP budget device. So and on this side we've got speaker and to PA charge separate charger completely for the battery inside. And then we're in battery mode at the moment. You can turn it off and go to uh, your 13.8 input there. Now, they're not hard to take apart these, but um, you know, there is a sort of knack to it, I think, um, to taking them apart. But you basically take the four screws off either side. The thing that stops the whole unit sliding out is actually this button, believe it or not. Otherwise it would slide out quite easily. I'm not sure if I could pull that button out, but I haven't tried that. So not, not the best test, but I'm just going to quickly call on the device using the actual internal microphone. Here goes. M0 FXB, test, test, test. M0 FXB, test, test, test. And then I'll plug in the, the microphone um, in the actual unit. This is the mic that we get with it. It's got one of these TRRS connectors. This plugs in here. So on the uh, fist mic, now you do have to sort of kiss it, otherwise it doesn't really pick you up. Here goes. M0 FXB, test, test, test. M0 FXB, test. Now, you know, it's not the best, it's a very crude test, but before, before the mod, uh, the modification by Rob, GW8, Romeo Delta, India, I feel that the unit was completely unusable. So we have to say a massive thank you for Rob to happen to buy one of these and deciding that he wanted it to work well and then putting all the work in also the work that's been put into the quantum sdr for the lcraft kx3 the g90 now there is a facebook group to help everyone usdr usdx i'll put the link in the description a lot of questions can be answered there rob's a, a very busy guy there are notes that have been left on the github page all this information i'll put for you and don't rush into changing the firmware. Make sure you learn how to do it first. There is a process. So this is the board that you need for the firmware update. You can see the pins there. Shine it on. Number 10 to ground upwards. So it's 10, 11, 12, 13 and ground. And you connect the board. So thanks very much for watching. Big thanks to Rob. If you're finding my videos helpful, please like and subscribe. 73.